Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to The Last Hex. It's by That Indie Studio, and it's currently in early access on Steam uh, for $14.99 US. It's a, uh, as you've probably guessed, I'm on a bit of a kick lately. It's a, a card-based uh, deck-building RPG uh, with hexes as well. <laughs> An actual uh, world map that you traverse around. Um, and I don't think I need any more explanation than that. So let's just jump right in, shall we? Now, it is early access, so it is pretty early here. I've done... The tutorial so I kind of understand like the basics but I've played enough of these games that I think I can muddle my way through most of it we have three classes right now that we can deal with we can do a warrior we can do a wizard or we can do a thief I kind of want to do the wizard just for the sake of argument and you see how much gold you start with and all of your different equipment and your starting deck and all that stuff so Excuse me. Wow. Um, <laughs> don't don't take that as 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 evidence that the game's not fun. Uh, um, but you can see here. I, I've also got there's an option to turn on what the math is behind the card, so you can see like the equations going on for the card and all that stuff. You can also turn on. I have turned on the enemy intent. You can uh, it's defaults off, but you can turn it on. And you can see what the enemy is thinking about when they're when they're coming for you. Um, so anyway, in any case, he starts out with three mana or arcana as they're calling it. And so, and most of these cards are one. So I think, uh, I think we're going to go with this. All right. Reference in guidebook. An undead army is invading the kingdom and destroying everything in its path. You must stop them before they reach the capital at all costs. Make haste, but make sure to be prepared. Objective is to reach the last text to take on the lost and save the kingdom. But be careful because the loss will become stronger every move you make and tiles will be lost. You must not let them reach the capital. The cities. In cities, the player can heal or remove a card from their deck, purchase new equipment, and purchase new cards. City hexes will look like the images below with slight variations. Some hexes will have a feature that tells you that an event is located there. Maybe it's a ruin, a lake, a cave, a non-city building, or even a pyramid. These events can help or hinder the player. What chances will you take to grow stronger? In camps, some hexes will have this camp flag on them. They are mini bosses and will give the player better cards and equipment choices for their efforts. All right. And then they, we've got the whole guidebook about the player, cards, equipment info, statuses, all that stuff. Um, I probably should look at statuses at some point, but lead, bolster, burn, critical, deflect, evasion, expose, fortify. Okay. Cleanse, weaken. I eh, I think they're pretty straightforward. We have boons here as well and curses. Um, tips for survival. Don't forget to invest in stats from the trainers. Rare cards have tire multipliers and scale much better. Check the compendium after finding an enemy to view their deck. More cards and equipment you purchase, the more you unlock. Um, blah, blah, blah. The undead have a large chance to destroy a hex on the opposite side of the map from where you start. Uh, small chance is below 5%. Minor chances between 5 and 20%, large chances above 20%, cards progressions. Right, the cards uh, get better as you gain whatever attribute is integral to the card. We'll, we'll, I'll talk about that as we go. Um, see, so we have quite the quite the battlefield here. Starting out at the city. Um, let's enter the city real fast and look at our, I guess, equipment. What do we got? Gain defense every turn. Heal 10 health when attacked. Let me lose 40 health at the start of a fight. Plus one power. Plus one expertise. Um, does the expertise give you? Not sure. Um, That's so just more. I don't know. I don't know what that is. This is four out of five, five out of five. Um, maybe the necklace of power. 
That's some expertise. I don't I don't know. Okay, I feel like I should take this at least. I'll take that. Um alright. I think we're good there. How about the card shop? Magic arrow. Uh Fortune Smiles gain twelve defense. Gain twenty seven defense with hardened. Decision planning gain sixteen defense, expose three. Power swing deal thirty eight damage. Eighteen consumed. Um Okay. It's got criticals on it. Okay. Magic arrow. I think maybe we'll grab a magic arrow. And I don't think we can grab... Well, we can grab one more thing. Maybe. Um, let's grab the power swing just for the sake of it. Now unlock new cards. Uh, turn to blow, stunning blow, and into the shadows. Alright. Just from unlocking this one. I guess this. I guess there's like a progression tree that the cards have or something. Um, anyway... Small soul, moderate chance to deal two damage after attacking is what I have. Necklace of power is on, plus one power. Okay, so that's what we have equipped. Excellent. Uh, potion shop. Cleanse, poison, antidote. Okay, we can't do much with that right now. And the trainer. Trainer once per town, 800 coins. Okay, I got it. All right, we have an event and another city. Let's go to the event. Healing Spring. The scent of water fills your, fills your nostrils. Following its trail, you come across a natural hot spring. A hot bath sounds perfect. You hop in and relax for a spell. When you emerge, your surprise discover your wounds have magically closed. Fully healed, you actually feel stronger than before. Plus 30 max health. Awesome. Cool. And uh, I guess we're going to go fight in the, in the, in the thing here. Against a trickster. Shuffles three tricks into the player's draw. Okay. Also, I have a timer going. I don't know what the timer is going for, but whatever. Um, so, what are we going to do? What's his intent? His intent is to block. So, let's just do all the damage we can to him. Magic missile. Fireball. And magic arrow. Bam. Done. All right, 127 gold. Select a card, add to your deck, or leave without selecting a card. Uh, destroy shields. Blind faith. Play a top card of deck for free, then consume that card, or deal 20 damage with a whirlwind. I think the whirlwind sounds good. Okay. Oh, good. It's giving me like a path to where I've gone before, so I can know which way I've gone. I guess. And again, another city. We don't need to go into another city yet. Here's a spiderling. Add one poison stack every time the player attacks. This is his special power. His intent is to attack. So... Do I have any defense? I do. I have sidestep. Let's do that. We got 12 defense now. Um, oh, I guess I could have done wall force. Whatever. Uh, power swing. Wow, I got a crit on that one. <laughs> that was fantastic. Okay. Um, in turn. Compounding poison, okay. We have percent chance to deal 50% more damage when attacking, moderate chance to deal two damage after attack. Okay. So we took one damage from that. That wasn't too terrible. He still intends on attacking, but I intend on doing eight damage. With a magic missile. There we go. 126 gold. And Discard a card, draw a card. Yeah, recycle. Okay, I'll take that. Another trickster, eh? Uh, and he's going to attack. Trickster restoration. Play this card, destroy it. If not play, trickster fully heals. Play this card to destroy it. If not played, trickster fully heals. So... Oh, that's interesting. So I have to play that to undo the trickster. Kings fortify for the fight. 
Play this card to destroy it. If not played, Trickster gains Fortify for the fight. Oh, I see. He's put three tricks into my draw. And if I don't do these, then he fully heals or, or something. Okay. Um... Well, I guess I can do this and then this, and then he'll just I'll, he'll just fully heal. But that's that's fine. I didn't do any damage to him. Um, I guess I could do six, six damage to him, but no, we'll just uh, we'll just uh, end our turn there. 19 damage, but we all went to our shields there. Alright, power swing. So, 40 damage. And then 19 damage. There we go. New monster, Orc Chieftain. Okay. 130 gold. Select a card, add to your deck. Dark Binding, Weakness 1, Consumed, Fortify, Fortify 3, Consumed. Hmm, let's do that one. Let's take Fortify. Let's see what this event is. Lost in the Woods, a large bank of thick fog rolled in this morning and you seem to have stumbled off the road into a heavily wooded area. You try to make your way back, but you have become hopelessly turned around for a way up. Days later, you emerge tattered and torn from the woods. You have wasted quite a bit of time trying to find your way out. The loss gains two strength. Draw one less card your next fight. Rest it in to remove effect early. Okay. Well, that's that's a thing that happened. Is that the... Oh, that's a camp up there. All right, well, let's go... We can go enter the city right now. We'll rest at the inn. There we go. What is this? Small chance to deal critical damage every attack. Okay, cool. Uh, back. And card shop. 404 we have here. Brawl deal 3 damage. Race for impact. Cleanse. Remove all cleanse while effects consumed. Recycle. Shield of faith. Slash. Precision planning. Let's take precision planning. And... I guess we could take a colon cleanse. And... I guess the six damage from a slash would, would be good too. New cards unlocked. Cool. Shockwave summon trance. <laughs> and shock. Alright. Um... Potion shop. Still just poison. Oh, here we go. Healing potion. 165 for healing potion. Duly noted. Alright, let's leave this place. And we'll head... Um, I guess we'll head this way towards the fights. Trickster 45. Um, let's get rid of that. And he's, he's intending on he's intending on do, uh, defending. So magic arrow. Okay. Um, deal eight damage. The rest are just defense things, huh? Right, 14 defense, I guess. Another 14 defense. Sure. Oh, wow. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't even notice his intent was to attack. Um, 21 damage. I'm down to one point. One hit point. I have a slash. 26 gold, and I guess we'll take volley. Not not great on the poisons myself. Um, there's an event down here. 
a fight, and then there's another event. Let's go to this event. As you walk along, you're approached by a trickster. He raises his hands quickly. No tricks, you buy. He vanishes into a cloud of smoke, and a rickety wooden shop appears. Need shinies for tricks. People like shinies. Give shinies, get knowledge. All right, uh, view offer. Greater cleave, deal 52 damage, expose 10, bleed 10, 170. Well, okay, and I have 182. Yeah, we're purchasing that. Abandoned farmhouse, unlock new event. Okay, so how do I? Do I have access to my deck, or do I not change it now? I have no idea. Let's um. Let's go and fight this encampment. Jungle, werewolf, huh? It's got five, five strength. Eesh. I only got one fleet foot here, but he's got 255 health. Power, gain power based off of missing player health at the start of a turn, okay. So, I don't have any defensive stuff. This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna hurt like hell, probably. But let's, um... Volley. Fireball. And... Magic Strike. Um... And I think we're, I think we're done there. Oof! It does hit like a tank. What is this? Player loses one energy next turn. Great. Um, well, I guess we're going to get as much defense as I can. All right, I still have some defense left. That's good. Did something right there. Um, 38 damage. Um, 31 defense, and that's about it. Uh, yeah, we're going to do the Greater Cleave, most definitely. Um, I probably should do the precision planning first. Oh well. I don't think I have anything here that uh, will actually protect me. That's not great. Let's fortify, and I guess we'll do a roll in here. I knew I was going to hurt a lot. <laughs> Hit me in the face here. Uh, 28 armor there. 38 damage. That guy. Do I have any potions? No, we don't. I did 10 damage, so that's good. I still have a shield anyway. Um. 26 damage there. So do that. Oh, and I got a crit. Nice. Okay, 350 gold plus 30 max health. Select one item to take. <laughs> I can take a magician hat or a magician hat. Um, so I guess I'll take a magician hat. Uh, select multiple cards to take. So we'll take... Uh, Gain 39 defense and maybe weakness one. Or you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's take all of them. Uh obtain this item will remove and destroy your currently equipped item. Magician hat versus trainee. Yep, that's fine. Cool. Um Do you need to probably get to a Village that's friendly or something soon. Uh, 
but we got spiralings here. And he's going to attack. Let's do, do that. Will be enough. So magic arrow and volley. And uh, oh yeah, we have four points now. Okay, cool. Another magic missile. And in turn. Okay, so we want 20 damage. Yep, uh, 125 gold. Sniper shot gain, tw or deal 28 damage, gain 18 defense. Brawl deal 3 damage. Um, there's an antidote for cleanse, poison, consume, potion. I think the sniper shot is the one I want. In our vent here. Strange berries. While traveling, you come across a bush bearing a strange fruit that you've never seen before. These strange berries seem to pulse with energy. You can only conclude that they have been affected by the power touching this land. A wise man will not risk it. However, your belly rumbles and they have an almost unnatural allure. Um, eat the berries. What did that give me? Energize. Nice. You reach forward half in a daze and take a handful of berries. On autopilot, you pop them into your mouth and swallow. You come out of it. Uh-oh. A surge of unnatural vigor spreads through you. Gain one energy next fight. Okay. Enter the city while we're here. Let's sleep in the inn. For 100. And trainer is 775. Okay. Card shop. Select for foreshadow. Choose a card from draw pile or place on top of your draw pile. Deal 26 damage. Pack suffer 13 health. Gain 25%. Deal 25 damage. Eh. Foresight. See next enemy card. And then just a regular bash and gain 12 defense. Fortify 1. I guess we'll to that. Seems like the cheapest one. Uh, and no poison and then all I carry is the poison and the antidote. <laughs> I feel like someone has this market cornered. Um, equipment shot. Rations. Heal 20 health after a fight. Where that goes? That goes into there uh, with the cross swords. Blood Ring, heal 14 health after fight. What was this one? Heal 20, no 14. All right, well, that was that's interesting. I, I wasn't expecting the cards to compete with one another so so quickly here. A piece of the loss, deal an extra 15 damage when attacking in lost grounds. When you die, respawn with 50% hit points, destroyed after use. Um, okay. Let's just take the rations. And that gave us Idol and Alchemist's Cur Kiln, I guess. Can't see the end. Alright, that's good. And we got a Jungle Bob. Or, I'm sorry, a, a Treant. <laughs> I saw the Jungle Bob thing come up. I'm like, what? What? A new thing here? So it is defending, so I need to throw as much damage at it as I can. Uh, why can't I? Is he still, still dropping? Like what? Oh, oh wait, that was armor. I was trying to hit him with armor. I'm like, that's not, that's not gonna do anything. Um, ten damage. Hmm. Magic arrow. And I guess we'll just do wall force for for now. And another wall force, I forgot. Alright. Um 
And yes, that's it. Well, 20 health on every turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's deal 52 damage. And then 38 damage. Let's see how he deals with that. And also a I could do the fireball, but instead I'm gonna do magic armor here. Do I still have a point? Oh I still have a point. Okay. I can use the fireball. Recycle. Okay, oh, there was nothing in my in my draw pile? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, there was everything everything still in the in the card this card thing. Alright. Um Fortify Wall of Earth. Gain sixteen defense, expose three precision planning. Um, all right, well, I guess the whirlwind and sudden strike will do that. It was from the inside, so. defense let's do let's do that some kind of defense going deal 28 damage gain 18 defense that sounds good there we go and we found a crab as our new monster so the card add to your deck or leave that creating card uh when attack gain strength and eight consumed yeah i think this will Yeah, yeah, I think that I think this one suits me. All right, and then we have another city here, two more cities. If we wanted to go there, there's a city down here too. Um, but I think I think you get the gist. I mean, it's it's a pretty long and sprawling game. Like I'm not gonna be able to to finish this on camera. It does have a lot of stuff along the way. Um, but we can... Uh, where's the thing at? Get the main menu. And uh, I think that that's, that's it for a, a nice little taste of the game. That, my friends, has been uh, The Last Hex. It is by uh, That Indie Studio. And it's currently in early access on Steam for 15 bucks US. It seems competent. I like again. It's another little tweaking being done to the base, uh, the base um, card uh, deck building games, PC deck building games. So I like to see that, and um, we'll see. I mean, it feels like I need to go much further into the game to really see more of it. But I, right now, it seems like it's kind of repeating the same things over and over again, same enemies over and over again. So uh, I think we, I think we get the gist for for the moment. Um, but as always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.